Well, I'd say that pretty much sets the tone for this whole thing, wouldn't you? A note with someone's eyes bleeding. Hey guys, it's Skullkid3, and welcome to part one of Let's Play Franbo. Uh, this was requested by YouTube user Pastel Magpie, and it's been a while since I've done a Let's Play by request. It's not a thing I very commonly do, but, um, I mean, I still have to do something while Twilight Princess is being worked on very, very gradually. Um, and I figure four videos of Blackwell a week might be a bit much. So, Franbo! Yay! This is going to be a scary old time. Oh, her eyes vaguely follow where I'm going. But not quite, so you can't make a cross-eyed. Cats don't do anything. Um, yeah, the, the reason I also did this is that Franbo is a game that's interested me for a while anyway. So I thought, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go wild. Um, so if you aren't already aware, this is a horror game, so if you're not very good at dealing with those in general, maybe go watch another video somewhere. Like, History of Japan or something. That one's kind of funny. I don't know. Anyway, uh, if you're pretty good at dealing with horror, or think you want to try and brave it anyway, new game. Something new game will overwrite your current game. That's fine, because it was just the start of the game anyway. Everything's fine. Now, Fran is a little girl, but I'm just going to use my voice because it's simpler that way. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder... It's a cat! So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. Mr. Midnight. That's a pretty good name. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. No idea where the fuck she came from. She was just kind of standing there the whole time. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. I'm surprised they're allowing Mr. Midnight to eat at the table like that. We're having so much fun! It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Maybe to do with the fact that my shirt matches the curtains. Oh, the giant horrifying ghost goat face! Could be it. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. It's Mum! Screaming! I want to know what's wrong. Bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. Closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? Okay, not, not the best way to begin the day. Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. This is pretty awkward because I can feel a burp coming on and I don't want to burp during this rather tense moment. Three. Fran, how do you feel? I'm not gonna lie. Not great. Been better. Didn't really want to see my parents dying again. 
Um, so, I think probably not exactly good. I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. Recovery? Don't you get it? My parents are dead! Oh, you poor thing. Everything will get better, I promise. Oh, uh, <laughs> I didn't realize there was a new option for me. Promise? That's nonsense. You just keep me here. We keep you here so we can take care of you. I also know I said I was going to use my own voice, but whatever. We'll see what happens. But now I have something for you, Fran. Oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. I don't know if I wanna. This place don't look exactly the nicest. Can we just go? Fran, stop it! Take your aunt's present now! Fine. This was my mother's purse. Yup, looks like a purse to me. Open it. There is something inside. Ooh. Oh, it's a letter. Can't use this. Maybe we should examine it. That would probably make more sense. Also, that's the most dapper skeleton I've seen in a while. And horrifying goat man from the window. Dearest Fran. Oh, yes, it's Aunt Grace. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remember that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. <laughs> you used to do this using the right mouse button, but occasionally the left button if you wanted to combine with another thing. I mean, I've heard of worse ways to introduce controls. Uh, given all the other things, never forget, blah, 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 love Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. Aunt Grace? Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it is time for your new medicine. Oh boy, this is gonna go well. What medicine? It's called duotine, and will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. I don't like the sound of that, if I'm honest. Anything new today, Dr. Dern? The heck kind of a name is Dern? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. I don't want to use my weird disembodied hand thing. Don't have all day, Fran. Take the pills now. Fine, fine, yeesh. It's not like you can do anything else in this environment. I don't feel good. Oh! Okay! Yeah! Oh, hi! Okay then! I can see why you wouldn't feel good! Parrot's heads falling from the ceiling over and over again. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Cool! So that's gonna happen a lot. Yay! Fran, wake up! The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Well, thank you, Mr. Midnight Ghost. I'm sure that's comforting. Chapter 1, My Sober Day. Well, you could say that. Looks to me like it's going to be just a day full of nightmares. Oh, and you've got a clown on the wall. You really know anything about what the hell isn't scary. Okay, so... How's about we wake up and do some stuff, Ran? Come on. No, I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. I'd say so. Because it would be a pretty boring game if all we did was lie in bed. Admittedly, pretty comfortable, but actually no, considering the location, probably not comfortable at all. I don't want to. I just woke up. Well, then you don't have to. 
Fran Bo Dagenhart. Age 10. Patients found near the Oswald Asylum. Psychosis. Family tragedy. Details omitted. Because it was gory and gross. 1944. Excellent. Right in the middle of war times. Dr. Cool. Psycho. What? I'm not that for sure. Well, if you don't know what it is, how do you know? Good reason to get curious. Well, we don't have any lockpicks or a key, so we're a bit out of luck, I'm afraid. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. It does the same as before. <laughs> Well, I mean, what were you expecting from a clockwork toy? Hey, buddy. I'll get your nose. I'll get it. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. I will get your nose. I will get it. <laughs> oh, holy moly. Something fell. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Or maybe I'll gouge someone's eye out. I'm definitely not sideshotic. Oh, guess I broke the curtains. Now we can look outside. For some reason, I thought there was a face there for a second. There's one here. But. Tower defense! We have for you a crazy person called Fran. I don't know how I should have said that properly, but. Or is it defense tower? Uh, I guess that is my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Probably not. You got a pretty big melon right there. Oh, hello, nurse. Can we please be not here? Thanks. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. Yes. <laughs> How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Three days? Oh, no. So many days. I should find Kitty. Your cat is probably dead, girl. Now leave, I'm working! Uh... Oh, I forgot! Something happened! See? You're in nothing but trouble! What is it? Uh... I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me! What if I don't want to follow you? Maybe I want to wait for you to leave the screen and then I can fudge around with your shit. I'm curious, yes. The nurse is still inside this room. Fine, I guess we will go follow her. How you doing, my lady? I don't, I feel bad saying that. Let's not. Let's not. No. Oh dear. Oh, why did I even? Something's missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? Um, what's a hook? Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little... girl. Oh, you... You just got the wonderful kind of bedside manner that makes you ideal to be a wartime nurse, don't you? Good heavens. Right. While she's gone, let's poke around everywhere. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Hey, don't tell Link that. He can make a lot of use out of an empty bottle. Towels! Towels! I didn't see what she was angry about towels for, but towels! I don't think I need any towels! Good God! I hate to tell us before all this began anyway. Uh, what's this? Is that cigarettes? Band-aids. That makes a lot more sense. But equally, I wouldn't put it past. Nursey over there. During the brain. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children. You don't say. There's deaths, trusting people, traumas, mental illness, trusting, interpreted, motor, parietal, temporal. I hope I don't need that information because I barely paid attention. Holy moly, Gladys Hannah Fever Box Defendant. Hit patient has letter sleeping almost all the time. She only makes up to Drick Watton. <laughs> but I doubt truck she remembers that. After drinking she goes to uh, angry. <laughs> okay. I think I could read it a little better than that, but that is some nonsense handwriting. Just... Dis dis okay, I genuinely can't read this one, though. Distance? D duo... Oh, duo... What was it called? Duotine? Duotine. 8H. Right. 
good. That might be important. It's... Who's the medicine is, but it's locked. Okay, that's a gun. That's terrifying. Let's not take a gun with us, because we're only a tiny little girl, and we don't need a gun! No one needs guns! Jesus Christ. Okay, so that might be important, but it's quite simple. It's each letter is the same number, and then 8H is apparently important. So, we'll look into that sometime in our lives. Which suggests to me, we're going to spell out some kind of a word based on a clue somewhere in this room, maybe on these letters I haven't looked at yet. And then we'll put those into the box. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. Pills? I hate the monster. Understandable, he doesn't seem very friendly. Let's find Mr. Midnight, Miss McKitty, afraid, medicine, show me where he is. Okay. So we want to take the medicine that's in this box, because it'll show us where Mr. Midnight is. Hello, buddy. How you doing? Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will, if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. The key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Oh! Leave me alone! I hate you! Jesus. Yeah, I can see why you'd be hesitant to tell me anything he doesn't want you to tell me. Okay! Scary goat man coming out of a void in the wall. But we won't let that monster stop me. Okay. Well, this has been grand. But it's 17, 18 minutes now. So that's pretty long. So I'm going to end this part here, guys, but thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you, I have no idea, sometime this week for part two. Maybe Thursday? I'm going to say Thursday. I might be lying. Hope you enjoy, and thank you very much for joining, and I will see you... I'm just looping myself here, aren't I? I tend to do this when I start the outro I'm used to saying, and then I say something different, and then re-say the outro, even though I've already said it. But, video ending now! Bye, thanks for watching, later.